The Samsung Galaxy Mega 6.3 is the biggest phablet we've had yet. It's closer to 7-inch tablets than it is to smartphones. Still, the narrow bezels make for a device that can fit in a pocket, and it's fairly light and thin, which also helps a lot. The main attraction is the 6.3-inch 720p screen on the front. Its 233 ppi pixel density is only okay by today's standards, but it makes up for that with good viewing angles and lively colors. Also, it's so big that a Galaxy S4 fits entirely inside it with no room left over. The display can detect your finger from an inch away, which enables Samsung's air view functionality. In terms of design, the Galaxy Mega 6.3 is an overgrown S4. It has the same looks and is built from the same plastic. This does have its advantages. The design features a high screen to basal ratio and the removable back cover means that you have easy access to the 3200mAh battery and the micro SIM and micro SD card slots which are stacked on top of one another. The top of the Mega 6.3 features an infrared emitter which can be used to control TVs, set top boxes and even projectors. The Samsung Galaxy Mega 6.3 runs Android 4.22 Jelly Bean with TouchWiz customizations similar to what the Galaxy S4 has. This includes multi-window, air view, group play, and watch on. The lock screen features a customizable personal message along with beautiful photos from TripAdvisor. You can add widgets to the lock screen as with stock Android 4.2 and Samsung snuck in some of its own customizations like the widget and app shortcuts where the camera usually is on stock Android. The home screen looks pretty standard. You can add up to seven home screen panes and rearrange them through the overview mode. The home screen can rotate to landscape orientation, which is great since reaching the top of the screen can be difficult. Adding widgets to the home screen is made easier thanks to the small silhouettes of panes and the widgets on them, so you can quickly find free room on any pane. The notification area looks the same as on previous versions of TouchWiz, but you can view all toggles using the dedicated button or two-finger swipe, a new feature in Android 4.2. The toggles can be rearranged and the top five are always visible. The brightness slider can be hidden to leave more room for notifications and it features an auto mode which can be tweaked using the slider. Samsung has enabled its multi-window split-screen multitasking. It works really well on the 6.3-inch screen, as even half of it is big by smartphone standards. The little arrow that opens up the multi-window tray can be moved up and down to be easier to reach, and if you like, you can flip the tray to the other side of the screen. The camera on the Samsung Galaxy Mega 6.3 is an 8-megapixel shooter that uses the same interface as the one on the Galaxy S4. It features drama mode, sound and shot, eraser, and several other cool options, but premium features like 360 photo and dual shot are missing. The Samsung Galaxy Mega 6.3 has an IR emitter on top, which allows the Watch On app to control your TV and set top boxes. It also integrates with several cable providers to give you a TV guide with info for each show and options to set reminders.